Hi, I hope you're all safe and well. Today's lesson, we're going to look at ethical and socio-cultural issues in physical activity and sport. Now, like any normal lesson, we're going to start with an interleaving starter or a blast from the past, as we also know it. So on the left hand side of your screen, what you should be able to see is a list from one to ten of different fitness tests. What I'd like you to do is identify which component of fitness the fitness test is testing. So, for example, the first one, Cooper run and bleep test. We know that this tests cardiovascular endurance. So what I'd like you to have a go at is number two down to number 10. See if you can remember which component of fitness these are testing. And then we'll come back together in a second and go through the answers. Hopefully you had enough time to do that. So number two, press up test and sit up test. We know that that tests muscular endurance. Number three, test for speed. Number four, test for strength. Number five, test for power. Number six is flexibility. Number seven is agility. Number eight is balance. Number nine is coordination. And number 10 is reaction time. Okay, so hopefully you've managed to get some of those right, and remembering them from the past lessons that we've had on components of fitness. If you have got any incorrect, you can just write in the correct answer just for future reference. Today's learning objectives are as follows. So the first one, define sportsmanship, gamesmanship and deviance and link these to practical examples. Identify the reasons why athletes resort to gamesmanship, deviance and violence. And then the final one, justify why an athlete may resort to violence within their sport. OK, first small task that I'd like you to have a go at. So in a second, I'm going to put three key terms down. And what I would like you to do is just make a note of anything you might already know about these terms before we go through them. OK, so what do you think is meant by the following terms? Sportsmanship, gamesmanship and deviance. OK, so I'll pause the video, give you a couple of minutes just to write down any ideas and then we'll come back together again and go through the answers. OK, first key term, so sportsmanship and the definition for this is as follows. Behaviour that shows fair play, respect for opponents, umpires and spectators and gracious behaviour in victory or loss. OK, so for example, and I'm sure we'll all have shown sportsmanship in our sporting career. This is as simple as shaking hands before a game. OK, it might be if you fouled an opponent. In football, for example, that you help them back up to the feet. OK, this is all known as sportsmanship. OK, second one is gamesmanship. OK, so it might have been easy to get the two confused. Gamesmanship is bending of the rules to gain an unfair advantage. So, for example, it might be that I'm a 1500 metre runner and I'm, I'm edging close to the finish line and there's an opponent just in front of me. It might be that I trip them up trying to make it out as though I've not done it on purpose and then I end up winning, winning the race. Another example might be diving in football. So you're so desperate to win a penalty that you end up diving over an opponent's leg okay, and, and trying to win a penalty. So gamesmanship is bending of the rules to gain that unfair advantage. So we know that this goes on a lot. Sometimes they get away with it, but often now more so, and especially in football, uh, with VAR and various cameras, they're able to pick up on this and they're trying to get rid of it out of the game. Deviance. So this is also known as cheating, behaviour against the written and unwritten rules of the sport, and it's often illegal in nature. OK, so some of the examples of deviance could be performance enhancing drugs, which we'll look at a little bit later on in a separate lesson. It might also be violence. OK, so it might be, for example, that somebody is so desperate to win a match that they then resort to violence in order to win, OK, or try to get a better result than, than what they imagined. OK, so devious is known as cheating. OK, and we will look at it in more detail. A lot of the section of deviance does look at performance enhancing drugs. But because this is quite a big topic, we will look at this as a separate lesson. OK, next task, what you can see in the middle. Now we know what deviance, gamesmanship and sportsmanship is. You can see the three key terms in the middle. Around the outside, you can see six images. What I would like you to do for the first task is draw a line from each of those images to the word which you think it best represents. So, for example, if I'm looking on the left hand side at the middle image, that looks like a runner who's helping 
um, an opponent who might have got cramped, for example, in the last 100 metres, that would be a good example of sportsmanship. So therefore, I would draw a line from that image down to the bottom term. OK, so that's the first task. And I'll allow you a little bit of time to do that in a second. Second task, and you can do this on a separate sheet. I'd like you to choose two of the images out of the six. And I'd like you to justify why you have suggested that it fits into that particular category. OK, so I'll pause the video now and I'll give you plenty of time to do that. And once you've done that, we'll move on to the next activity. Just to mention before we move on, obviously, all of these worksheets, you don't have to print them off. OK, all you can do is just make a little description of what the image shows or you can number them if it's easier for you and then just write it down on a piece of paper. That's absolutely fine. OK, sportsmanship then in a little bit more detail and what it helps to do, because obviously it's something that even growing up as a young child, when we first enter our first kind of sporting activity, we're all told about sportsmanship and how good it is. OK, so some of the things that it helps to do, it makes an activity more enjoyable. It encourages a good atmosphere and friendliness. OK, so although we're competitive at the same time, we need to be friendly towards our opponents. Support the officials and umpires, therefore helping the game to flow. OK, so if we make our job easier for the officials and umpires by not giving kind of penalties away in football or tripping somebody over in an athletics race, it makes their job easier and it allows the game or the activity to flow. And then it also raises the status of the sport and provides good role models. So I'm sure we can all think of an image in our head of somebody who's shown that they're a good role model in sport because of some sportsmanship that they have shown. I know there's a video that always goes around on YouTube of an 100 metre sprinter and one of his uh, one of his opponents gets cramp in the final five, 10 metres. And once he's finished the race, he goes back to help his opponent cross over the line. OK, moving on. Why do athletes resort to gamesmanship and deviance? So a couple of examples, they want to gain an advantage in a competition. So, for example, on the right hand side, you can see the Champions League trophy. So if somebody winning a penalty or getting an away goal, for example, on a two legged match, if that gives them an advantage moving forward, then there's some, some athletes are willing to take that. The importance of winning a huge competition and the pressure from fans, teammates and spectators. Now, we see this more and more in big stadiums. Fans stood up kind of applying a little bit of pressure to their team, hoping that that pressure or that support in some instances gives them that little bit of an extra edge that makes them win the game, OK, or get on to the next age in the competition. So we mentioned previously that violence is an example of deviance. OK, so why do some athletes resort to violence? Now, it might be anger, frustration at poor decisions by officials, so again, relating it to football, the other night, Aston Villa against Sheffield United, the ball clearly went over the line, but the goal wasn't given because of issues with the technology. OK, so some of the players might have been frustrated and angry at that decision that they've then drawn the game nil nil when actually they could have won it and, and claimed all three points. The second one, emotions are running high, so it might be a local derby or you're facing a rival. So again, the image to the right hand side that's Sheffield Steelers against Nottingham Panthers, which is seen as a local derby. OK, so the expectation of winning the game and winning it for all your local fans, your emotions might might run high. Second one, abuse or provocation. So again, for example, there might be a fan who's hurling abuse at you in the crowd, saying that you're letting the team down, for example. They might then resort to violence. Nature of the game as a result of body contact. So, for example... The image again, ice hockey, although this is not writing in that as such, but if you've ever watched the live game, a lot of the uh, the actual rules within it is that there will be body contact. You see people slammed into the advertising board at the side. But again, if, you, if a player feels that that's a little bit too violent from an opponent, it might then cause them to react. And then finally, they might resort to violence because you see role models doing it. So if, for example, there's a test and you see them getting violent towards a spectator in the crowd, a youngster who's out playing tennis, you know, under 10s, for example, they might think if somebody's shouting something at them, they might resort to the same thing because they think it's OK because the role models who they've seen on TV have also done the same. 
penultimate task then and what you'll have to do for this when you click on each of the links it'll then load up a separate uh, youtube video in a separate window for you so as you can see on the slide this three clips and they've all got a link there to YouTube. What I would like you to do is watch each of these clips and then justify the category for the incident based on reasons we looked at on the previous slide. So I have a separate example down at the bottom and that's not one of the three clips, but I've put, and this is how I could justify my answer. For example, a young academy player saw Mo Salah kicking out at an opponent, so therefore thought it was okay for them to do the same. The category for this incident would be that they saw a role model doing it, so consequently they thought it was acceptable themselves. Okay, so I want a little bit of a justification as to why you've categorised it in a particular category. Okay, I'll pause the video and give you plenty of time to do that. I might take a few minutes to load each video as well, but watch each clip carefully and see which one or which reasons you think as to why that athlete might have resorted to some form of violence in, in their actions. Hopefully the YouTube clips all, all loaded there okay for you. Now, final final activity, and we always try and end, end a lesson uh, with a few of these, is just some exam questions, just to give us some good practice. Okay, and they, they're quite straightforward for today's lesson. Okay, one, two, and three. And what I want you to do is just write your answers down on a piece of paper, as you would do normally. So number one, which key term is being defined below? So say bending of the rules to gain an unfair advantage. Number two, explain why raising the status of the sport and providing good role models is an example of sportsmanship. And then number three, identify and explain a reason as to why Serena Williams might resort to gamesmanship and deviance in the semi-final of the US Open in tennis. So again, I'll pause the video, give you a few minutes to be able to uh, answer each of those questions. Okay, hopefully you uh, you found that PowerPoint, that video useful. Once you've completed all the tasks, could I ask that you email your work to your class teacher, whether that's to myself or whether that's to Mr. Line. Okay, so remember, you don't have to print off all the sheets. It can be a case of writing your answers down on a piece of paper, taking a picture of your answers on your phone, and then just emailing the documents over to myself or Mr. Line. Now you'll see at the bottom in red what I've put there. So I mentioned at the start, our next lesson, that carries on from this we'll look at performance enhancing drugs okay which is a type of deviance and ways in which people cheat to be able to uh, obviously have victories in their sport um, or their specific physical activity okay so any questions or anything any more you need from this video if you just email myself or mr line and then once you've completed the work just drop us an email and then we'll be able to give you some feedback okay take care and hopefully we'll uh, we'll see you soon thank you